Good morning. Good morning. Early, early to the party again. Are you there? Are you there? Come on in. Beautiful sunny day today. Glorious here in Crowborough. What about where you are? Where are you? Come on in. I didn't have time to make a cup of tea today. I've got my yogurt though, look. Let's go from one extreme to the other. Fat free. Look at the size of that. I've only got four of them. I'll have to make it last. <laughs> Eat. You, you, you use what you've got and you get what you've got, don't you? That's it. So, it's all right though. Strawberries, yummy. Come on in, good morning. That's my breakfast, that's my treat. I'm trying to lose a bit of weight. Now I've been motoring through all those eggs, those chocolate eggs. <laughs> it's starting to feel like I've been motoring through those chocolate eggs as well. Come on in, good morning. Good morning, lovely to have your company. Oh, we've got something really nice lined up today. I think actually, if we're going to get in the Zen mood, um, then probably we'll spread it over today and tomorrow. So I thought we'd do the frame today and then we'll do the, the landscape tomorrow. Really nice it is. I think so. I was working on it yesterday evening. Came together quite well. And there are so many different options. You know, like... Um, this is a, just a couple of ideas, but then you wait, you'll see there are so many different, different possibilities once you figure this one out. It's cool. Come on in, good morning. Lovely to have your company. Grab a seat at the front. Shady spot, lovely. Get your tea, enjoy the tea. I'm going to have to wait till later, but that's okay. I drink way too much tea anyway. And the more you drink, the more you have to pee, isn't it? It's like... Ee, ee, ee. So, anyway, that was way too much information. <laughs> come on, come on, Ryan. Come in, see Ryan. Come on in. How are we doing today? 9.57. Three minutes to go. Stretching. The most challenging thing today, for the doodle, that is, is drawing a circle. A big circle. That's all right, I've got a couple of ideas. We'll be all right. Got loads of ideas. While you're hanging around, this isn't for my yogurt, this is to draw around. If you can get a, because I thought we'd do a circle. We've been doing squares, haven't we? Everything's in a square, everything's in a frame. You know, square, square, square. So I thought, let's try something different. So you may need, let me just show you, if you're early, right, what we're looking for is something that we can make a circle with like that. Okay, I'm going to show you, I'm going to get a great reveal, yeah, I'm too excited to show you. But what you want is something that you can make a picture within. Hey, check that out, Vilroy and Bosch, posh or what? Yeah, I do like nice porcelain. Do you, um, when you go to restaurants and you get nice plates, do you ever flick over and have a look what make it is? Or when it comes on, the food comes on it, are you like that? I am. There's a really posh restaurant, really posh, near uh, Fabersham called Reed's. It's right by McNaid's, the big super is closed now. But on very, very special family occasions, we go to Reed's for lunch. It's very nice dining rooms. And they've got amazing uh, porcelain, crockery. And it always comes out on different plates, depending. If you get salmon, it's on that plate. If you get, it's on different plates. And mum and I are always like this, when the food comes out, always checking what the make is <laughs> bad style couldn't do that in victorian days could you not proper come on in welcome welcome lovely to have your company on this glorious sunny morning and it's 10 o'clock and off we go and hopefully the internet will behave because the phones weren't this morning my hope is that the internet will behave long enough for us to get this doodle sorted out. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. So yesterday, are you ready? Have you got your pen? You don't need much. If you're new to the fold, you really don't need anything other than a pencil and a piece of paper and eventually a pen. And we use the Micron pens, but you can use a biro, 
You can use whatever you've got in your cupboard. What's important is that you join the party and you leave all those problems and all those worries outside the front door just for an hour and come in here and breathe and get out of your head and get with your hands. And that's what we're going to do. And if along the way we can make some lovely art, then it's a win-win, isn't it? Eh? Clearing the head and getting creative. What else are we going to do, eh? Lovely. Do you know that bloke with the streamer still out there? Maybe he's stuck under a tree. I'll go and check later. Right, it's not Dave. It's not Dave. Dave's making visors. Okay, so let's have a look, shall we? This is what we did yesterday. Are you ready to rock and roll? Let's have a look. So yesterday we did this, didn't we? And then I said we're going to make um, we're going to make a landscape. So I thought now we could take a look at this. And I'll all run for the hills because this is actually really easy. There's your. It's very easy. It's a lot easier than you think. Let's get up close and let's check it out. Bite size. Right now, look at the frame. It's a circle. In fact, it's two circles. And then they've been, see the, the vine from the kite? We've come out of the kite and we've wrapped it round. It makes a lovely frame, doesn't it, for any picture? Any picture. All right, so that's what we're going to do. And then tomorrow, I reckon that, that that frame will probably take quite a while. And then tomorrow, I thought we could do those lovely poplar trees and we could have a go at that boat. The little boat is really easy. We did it years ago. It's like a figure eight. How are you feeling about this? Comfortable? Good. What you have to remember is, right, every time I bring something out like the hot air balloon, you go, no, I can't do that, can't do that. And then I read all your comments and you say, I can't believe that I managed that. I can't believe it. It's so, there's nothing that gives me greater joy than reading those comments. Right, you ready? Let's have a go. So it's, it's, it's a piece of cake, actually. The most difficult thing in this whole thing here is to draw those circles. And like I say, if you've got yourself a cereal bowl, it doesn't have to be a posh one, it just has to be a circle, right? Then we're going to draw around it, around the cereal bowl, and we're going to leave out the kite. That's, it's that simple. Now, all you crafters out there, all you die cutting crafters, because I thought the outer one is a piece of cake if you've got a saucer. The inner one, I do it by hand, right? Because I, I do like a doodle. But then I thought, I woke up this morning thinking, hmm, that could be a challenge for some people. So I thought, right, have you got these? I'm not saying you've got to buy them. I'm only saying if you've got them, get them out because this might help you if you're challenged, if, you, if you're struggling with the, with the circle. So what we've got here, let's have a look. I'm using just the nested circles and I'm just going to use a pair of them. And let me show you, if I overlay it, you'll understand. So that this one, let's have a look. You can pick any one you like, but just for orientation, I've got the second one in, right? If you did that, let's go on the flat. You could stick that down like that, couldn't you? Use a bit of low tap masking tape. And then you could take a pencil, once you've got it in place, right, and you're happy with the position, and then you're going to go around the inside. Okay, that's that one. Then, <coughs> excuse me, then we'll take the next one in, next one in, but this time, what we'll do is take that one out of the way, now have a look. So this one, I've gone again there, but you could go on the inside of that one and then you'd have the right distance okay so it's just a solution if you before you throw all your toys out the pram and say well I can't I can't do that it's impossible hey listen you may have a compass uh, not a compass uh, is it a compass no a compass is north south east west isn't it now I've had a mental block a what's this one come on help me out where you put the, the pin in the middle and it goes round. What's that called? My God, is this the onset of something serious? <laughs> What's it called? It's not a protractor. A protractor's like that. Uh, come on, help me out. What's it called? It's not a compass. It's a... Uh... Oh, Barbara. 
I told you my maths teacher didn't like me. Right, so <laughs> we're going to do this first. Are you ready to rock and roll? Have you got a bowl? Have you got something? Maybe somebody would like to text me and give me the answer. <laughs> Put me out of my misery. It would help me, honestly. My head's all over the place. Right, so let's have a look. I reckon I'm going to pop that there like so. Right, excuse all the scribble up the side. Silly me. That's me trying to be organised yesterday. Hold my pot in place. I'm going to stand up for this one. Okay. Mind my head. Sorry about that. I'm going to go like that. So there's a little bit of the, the kite hanging over the edge. And then I'm going to come round like so. I'll go lightly. Where I get to the tail, I'll stop. And I'll come back round. Cool. Couldn't make it more difficult, could I? Right round I go. Like that. This is the outer edge of our picture. It is a compass. <laughs> it is a compass. Sorry. It is a compass. I've just had about 12 texts saying it's a compass. <laughs> Do you ever say a word and think, well, that doesn't sound right, actually. Right, there you go. Bosh. Bish bosh. Do you get it? Okay. So there, that wasn't so hard, was it? That's the first one. Yeah. And now we've got to do the one on the inside. So this is how I did it. And now I would say if you can do this, then good, good. I, I prefer to do it this way. And I just want to, so I'm going to come around here and I'm going on the inside. And, and because of it, we're pencilling, aren't we? So I've decided it's going to be about that thick. This, and I'm just going to come round lightly. There you go. And then I'll turn it a little bit. See? It's not hard, is it? There you go. And straight away, as soon as you start to focus. See? As soon as you start to focus. Relax your shoulders, Sheila. Right, there you go. Come on in. Grab a seat. So what we're doing is we're just making a nice round frame now. Round we go. Oh, hello. A bit off piece there. Oh, the joys of the rubber. Check this out. I do you know, I was wondering, and just now when I was sharpening it before, I thought, I wonder at which point it's going to meet. When does the pink meet the white? And what happens then? Mm, I'll let you know. Right, round we go. Round we go, like that. I need to lean on something because I'm, excuse my hand. I need to lean on this because I'm going to get grey all up the side of my hand in a minute. Right, round we go. Lightly does it. It's good practice, this is, for trying to not touch the paper. It's like levitating. Look. Right, round we go. Round. Now this is going to come round here. See, some people can do this really easily. You've got a steady hand and other people struggle with it. And if you struggle with it, it's not a problem because then all we're going to do is we're going to turn the kitchen upside down and we're going to find another bowl that's just a little bit smaller than this bowl, aren't we? Piece of cake, really. Don't sweat it. All you need is either that or buy a compass. <laughs> and it's called a compass. Right, so we've done that. Okay, very cool. And then, let's have a look. Are you following? Come on in. Good morning, everybody. Come on in. Everyone's shouting at the screen. It's a compass. Oh, no. <laughs> Tell you what, though, you're not worried about anything else now. All you're worried about is me and me blinking, blinking compass. Right, hang on a minute. Okay, so next step. This is you got to do it in in layers. So now what we've got to do is a wrap around. Check it out. So you're going to go under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, and then round. Right? Should we do that one first? Because we've got to do that before we do the frame. This is so pretty. Right, I need to just get a bit bolder with my, my pencil. And we're not going to 
we're not going to ink this until we've done the bit over the top. So for example, I'm going to come from from here now, right? And I'm going to, so this one here, it goes like that and then it comes out and it goes over, right? Let me think for a minute. Then I'm going to come under and over like that. So all you're doing is come under, it's ever so easy, look, like that. And then you go under again and then you go, hang on a minute, let me think. Then you go over again and then you go under. And then on this one though, I think I'm going to come over and I'm going to go like that. There you go. So you go under, over, under, over. It's just like that. You should be getting good at this now. Now what we're going to do is do the double line because when you look at the actual original, look, see, it's not a black line like it was in the kite. No, no. Oh, no. Now we're going to the advanced class. Look, it makes it stand out more. The black line would get lost in the frame, see? So we've got to make it stand out. And then, of course, we can do a little bit of shading to really make it pop as well, can't we? OK, so now we need to follow through with the second line. You ready? Let's have a look. So now go again. And it's up to you whether you go on the inside or on the outside. I'm going to go like that. Steady does it. Steady Eddie. Around like that. And I'll come in there like that. Top tip, go slow. Seriously, if you go, if you go slower, you've got more control. It's like most things really, isn't it? Right, take your time. Like that. And then this one, going to go up and over. Should we try a little bit of a swirl? Yeah, look. So it's kind of, yeah, nice. And then we'll come back round like that and we'll pick it up there. Slowly does it. Okay. Cool, we got into this one quickly, didn't we? There we are, look. Nice? Nice. So we've done that one. I'm happy with that. And now at the top, let's look at the top one as well. So it's the same thing, but this time, what we're going to do, let's look from above so you get a better idea of where we're going. So we're coming out here, we're going over, under, over, under, and then we're going to sweep through and leave a little bit of room for a moon or a sun. I can't wait to do this with you. But let's get the frame. This could be like a dream catcher, couldn't it? If you didn't do the kite yesterday, or you could do, the, do this, ignore the kite, just do the beautiful circle like a landscape, you know, don't have to add it to the kite. I, ha I did because it creates flow, doesn't it, through the days. Gives it a sense, gives me a purpose here. Right, so what we're going to do now, so I'm at an advantage because I've already done it once. So we're going to go up and over and then under and over and then under and then over and then we'll come down and make a little hanging thing. A little bit ropey, but that'll do. Right, and then... Again, go again, slowly does it, like that, up and over. It's all right, we've only, we're only doing it in pencil, so we can always change it if it's a little bit ropey. Help me. So then we'll come here, and we're going to go up and over. Should we do a little, yeah, let's do a, a switch, you know, like a little flick, like we did on the leaves. We're learning so many things. Are you finding... The more you do, the more confident you're getting. Me, definitely. That's what I find. The more I do, the better I get. And the better I get, the more I want to do. There we go. Right, let's see if this pencil can take a sharpening. In a minute, this is going to just fall apart, this pencil, but I need it to just help me out one more session. Then I'm going to have to go and dig out another... Pencil. Right, so now, how about the leaves? Let's look above. So you'll see that the leaves are all not on the pattern. That was because I inked it up before I put the leaves in. Having done that though, I was quite glad that I did it because it didn't make it too busy when I was putting the pattern in. So, how about we do this, right? We pen this and then we'll add the leaves around it. See, what I'm saying is, if you wanted to put a leaf in here, like there, let's just do one 
like that, and then you'll understand. Right, let's do one there, and let's do another. Oh, look, now I'm doing it anyway now. Right, let's put one there and one there, so you get it. And you'll, you, you do that, and then next time you'll decide whether you want to bother with that idea. But anything, if you want to put flowers on here, you'd have to do it all now before you put in the background. Okay, but I reckon, right, we've done two leaves. Stop waffling, Gray. Pens at the ready. The number one pen. Yeah, because now, here we go. Now we're going to put the actual uh, lines in, aren't we? So, are we going round, are we going to go round the, are we going to go round the pot or are we going to do it by hand? We're going to do it by hand and we're going to do it a section at a time. Okay, this is how I figured it out. This was the best way for me. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put, let's have a look, look, I'm going to put these in first. So round I go. Right, what's this one? I'm going to use the 005, that's too thick. I'll use a thinner one. Right, so around we go again, that's better. Slowly does it. And when you get to the... Oh, I'm not, sh not sure about that. When you get to the... Um, the tube, let's call it the tube frame. Right, just stop. So now we're just going to put these in. That's better. Right. Are we all right with this? Then we come round again. So I think once you get in the swing of it, this wrapping around, this one's a little bit thinner. So let me go back over that again. My 005's dried out. They're good, the Micron pens, aren't they? Loads of you have got them now. If you don't know what I'm talking about, these are the Micron pens, look. These are the pens. And there are seven different, I think there's seven of them, yeah. And so the 005 is the thin one that I'm using, and then the, the one is the other, and then it gets fatter and fatter. But they're good for drawing. They're really good for drawing. So now we're going to go this sweepy one. I bet you're all ahead of me, aren't you? You're all experts now. Having said that, though, we agree, don't we? Let me get round. I've got to get my eye in. We agree. Pushing the pen is never a good idea. Pulling the pen is always better. Top tip. Um, we agree that there are no experts in the building, right? Mind you, having said that, of course, some of the artwork that you, you create, it's, it's, it's spectacular. There you go. Nice. Right, now put my leaf in. Tick, tock, tick, tock. How are you doing? Are you coping with this? It's a piece of cake now, isn't it? Good morning. Good morning on this sunny day. Come on in. And if you're not doodling, that's fine. It's not compulsory. What's important is that you hang out with us. That's important. Whether you, whether you doodle along or you doodle later. Oh, hello, it's a bit tight. What's important is that you're here with us. And while you're here, if you're not doodling, or even if you are, do me a favor and just like, follow and share this this film or this Facebook live or whatever it is or this yeah because what that does is it means it goes beyond us and other people will see it and I don't I'm not saying that for popularity I'm just saying that I think there are a lot of people that could benefit from this who aren't crafters who are not from our clarity community they're from a whole other world and they're also on lockdown and they don't have the they don't have that gift that we have right now you know most of us most of you guys that are here now we're crafters aren't we we know we've got a, a lot i've got a room full i've got a company full i've got a stash like you can't believe of pens and pencils and coloring pencils and coloring books and stamps and 
groovy and same as you, right? And we know the benefits of crafting because we've been doing it for many, many years. So come lockdown, well, for a lot of us, it's like, whoa, happy days. Time to craft, right? But for a lot of people, this is desperate because they don't have that pastime. They don't have that creative strand. And that's why you need to like, follow and share so that other people who are going stir crazy now, who are having to stay at home, so that they perhaps will see this and also get the bug. You know, because once you, once you figure out, it's so addictive, isn't it, this? It's so addictive. Well, it is for me, but then I have a very addictive personality anyway. But you understand where I'm coming from. So that's why I think it's crucial that we pass the message on. I got a really lovely, lovely uh, private message from uh, a lady whose, uh, whose children are both um, with the NHS. And she said that it is so important for her to, um, to doodle along because we always worry about our children, she said, but now it's off the radar. Anne, if you're, if you're listening, I totally get you. I always worry about Grace and Mark. And now they're not in the, um, in the health system like your kids, but one's in New York. One's in New York, Anne. And one's in San Francisco. Right, leaves. So what I'm doing now is I'm just adding leaves and they can be big and they can be bold, but they're just perfectly shaped leaves like this. See, and my head in the way or is it out of the way? There you go. So yeah, that's why I was saying, like, follow and share, because that way other people perhaps who who need a little distraction, who need to escape for half an hour every morning. They'll figure something out. That's quite nice, isn't it? Come on, tell me this isn't relaxing. You just put your, put your leaves in where you fancy. Right. We can always add a few more in a minute, but now should we get our tube in? I'm going with the outer one. I'm going to do both at the same time. So down we go. Excuse my head. Come to this one. I'm going to go round. Actually, I want to put a bit of pencil line in there so I don't go wrong. There you go. Easy. Right. Then we're going to come round and we're going to go to there. And then I can just tidy it up. Then wherever there's a leaf in front, you see. So I'm going to come round, go like that, stop at the leaf. There you go. What I said earlier, I wasn't joking when I said pull the pen. Pull the pen. Don't try and pull away from it. If you, if you push the pen, it's like going against the, the grain of the paper really, isn't it? This way you're just pulling the pen over the, over the top. See? So you've just got to avoid the tail of the p kite. How are we doing? Are we all right? Are you happy? Are you enjoying this doodle? See, because we got, you know what's going to happen in a minute, don't you? <laughs> I've, just, I've just had the same moment. It's like, oh, okay. So this is easy because you just go, it's that hop, skip, jump, isn't it? Look, you just go from there to there. It's easy. What am I using here? Double O. I ought to really use a one, but it's a bit late now. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll carry on. <laughs> right, so this was easy because you just go from one leaf to the next one, don't you? Now, oh, all right, keep going. Right, so now we've got to come round and we've got to keep going. So, concentrate. I'm not going to talk now, so I've got to focus. So that would be impossible. So round we go, like that. Keep your eye on the road ahead. Just keep your eye on the road ahead. Just a little bit in front. You, what you're looking at when you do this, go slowly and just keep your eye. It's like riding a motorbike. You just keep your eye 
on the road ahead, not on the wheel. If I, if I look at the nib, I'll start going like that. Right, let's do the second. Let's do, let's get it over with. Okay. Right. In we go again. The thing is also, right, when you do this, in a minute, there are going to be so many patterns in here, you're not going to notice any imperfections. And anyway, who cares? Right now, we're back to safe, on safe ground now. Round we go. Round we go. Tick tock, tick tock. Yeah, you see, building a picture, it takes time. But I think, we're here, you just went off piece a bit there. The thing is though, it does take time. However, firstly, we've got time. And secondly, I think we learn, we need to learn to give ourselves time. I think that's another point, you know. So let's have a look at the one that we've, we're working towards, you know, while we're giving time, time, slowly. So one of the other things that I've got going on here are these little berries. I like these. Check them out. Let's have a look. See if you... It's the little things. Look. Ah. Like little cherries or berries or something. Should we add a few of those? Come on then. How are you doing? Are you coping all right with this one? I do hope so. Let's have a look from this angle. Right. So we need a few more leaves. Let's add a few more leaves. Come on. Leaves. Do little pairs of leaves like that. You can always pencil them first if you don't want to. And then you're going to do a little bobble on the end. Look, delicate. Ah, oh, put a bobble on the end. So you can put a leaf like that. A leaf behind. Like that. We could do a little berry. Nice. Put a berry up there if you feel like it. That'll do. I'm going to add a couple of leaves up here. See, so you're building, aren't you? And you're giving time, time. And it's not crowded. You know, it's not a crowded landscape. It's, um, It's not busy, you know, like when we when we did the, um, the the love or we did the heart, and we filled every single space, didn't we, with patterns. This is a little bit more. If I said illustratory, would that be right? Would you agree that it's more of an illustration than a doodle? I think it probably is, but it's not hard. Look, it's just little strategic doodles, isn't it? Look, so we're doing these little cherries. They look cool, don't they? Remember what we said a couple of weeks ago, I was saying, when you put little dots in, these little cherries, they have the same kind of impact. They, they, they kind of... Let's put a couple of little leaves in there. How are we doing? Can you even see what I'm doing here? There you go. Are we relaxed yet? There we go. I like this, don't you? Just got to give time, time. Let all that worry and all that fear just leave, just leave you, just for a little bit, you know? It's not going anywhere, it'll be all there when you get back. But this, this doodling, what we're doing here, is just like, Perfect therapy, isn't it? So there you go. How are we doing for time? Cool. Are we zen yet? Are we zen? Isn't that pretty? See, and even if you haven't got a kite, just to put that round, and then you could 
I would, if this, if the cart were not here, eliminate, right, Photoshop out, right, I would probably have gone all the way around just from there, like that, and then still left that side free. So it's that, it's the arty, you know. Because, don't forget, vroom, we want to put the landscape in that side. See? So. Now, let's do the pattern. So I want to show you, it's very, very easy. You remember when we did these little things that give me pleasure? Remember when we did this bit here? Yeah? Well, that is going to be uh, similar to what we're going to put around the outside. So what we did yesterday, we're going to use it in the pat in the in the frame. But before we do that, let's take our wubber and let's just get rid of the pencil lines. Have you have you inked everything up now? So let's get rid because in a minute we're coming in with loads of patterns. This is going to be really really relaxing in a minute. See, I can really chill to this stuff. One of my friends, Anita, she loves going to spas. You know when you, you go and get a massage? See, I can't, I'm, I'm not a spa person. And so we went the other, we went last year on, on, for a birthday treat and uh, for a weekend. And, um, and we booked in for a couple of sessions, you know, like massage. See, I, I don't like, uh, that's not my kind of thing. Um, but she loves it. So, so she was in one room with a, with a masseuse and I was in another room with a masseuse. Anyway, the, mass, the lady that I was working with, we were chatting away. We, I found out all about her life story and her boyfriend, her fiance and her mum. And it was just lovely. And, and her dreams and aspirations. And we just chatted and chatted and chatted. And I told her about Grace and Mark. Anyway. Before you knew it, the hour was over. I'd had my massage and I was full of beans. And then I went outside and Anita, she's in a little bathrobe, like half asleep. And, uh, and I was all full of, you know, full of beans because I'd been having a chat. And she said, you're not supposed to talk. And I said, well, I can't not talk to the lady while she's giving me a back rub. You've got to say something. You've got to talk. Anyway, so, so we're supposed to be going again this summer. Don't think it's going to happen, some Social distancing and all that thing, Anita. I don't think I'm going to have anybody rubbing me back. However, right, she made me promise we were supposed to go on a silent retreat. Can you imagine a silent retreat? You're not supposed to talk for three days, apparently, and get a back rub. And I said, I don't think that's going to happen somehow. <laughs> Fortunately, well, it's definitely not going to happen now. But um, it was comical, really. I thought, why, why on earth would I not speak to the lady? <laughs> that's like having a pedicure there's someone fiddling with your feet and you're not allowed to chat to them whatever right you ready we're going for it now should we have a look at the pattern it's really easy it's really easy let me just show you stop a minute don't you do it let me do it and then and then have a look so what you're going to do is you're going to do two lines like that and then two lines a bit further along like that and then across and that's it. So then you do another two lines a bit further along, like that, and then another cross, and then avoid your vine bit. That's the only tricky bit, really. Right? Then you go along, another two lines, cross. Piece of cake. There you go. Two lines, cross. And off you go. Round you go. So we'll go all the way round doing this. And then we'll go all the way round again and we'll do the infill. You've got to do one thing at a time, otherwise. Here we go. Like so. And again, go slowly. And you'll see. You sort of stop and you look at what you're doing and you think, right, I don't want to make a gap too big. What pen am I using, I hear you ask? I'm using a 005. Go along, don't make the gap too big. Pull the pen towards you. Don't worry if it goes a bit wonky. It's going to be so busy in a minute, nobody's going to notice. Oh, hang on a minute. She went wonky. 
We perfectionists, eh? It's the bane of our lives, you know. Got to get over it. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy the journey. I'll tell you when I had my moment of clarity with the perfectionism thing while we're going round, right? Was when I started using the gel press. You know, the jelly plate. Years ago now, years and years ago. And I was supposed to be launching it on television. And um, and because it's so unpredictable, what you get with these jelly plates, they're like print, mono printing, but without the press. See, and I was used to having very controlled artwork where I could see exactly what the outcome was going to be. If I did A, I'd get B. If I did B, I'd get C. If I did... See, and when you use a gel press, that you can throw the rule book straight out the window because there is no guarantee. You can't, you, you, you pull in paint prints or ink prints. And so the TV date was getting closer and closer. And I was chomping through card like you can't believe. It, every single thing was going in the bin because it wasn't, I had a preconception of what I wanted it to look like and I wasn't getting what I wanted it to look like. And so I was doing my nut really and and not enjoying the gel press at all, right? Because the date for the TV was coming up and I hadn't even got a demo sorted out. And um, and then I, I thought to myself, I gave myself a bit of a stiff talking to and I said, right, Gray, I said, you are gonna have to get over this because otherwise you're not going to move forward. If you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got, I said. So I'm just going to have to work with what I've got. When I pull the print, if it's not what I want, it's what I get. And then I'll work with what I get and I'll keep going with that. And I tell you what, that was the game changer in my arty life. The minute I let go and just accepted what I was getting rather than trying to keep controlling the outcome like madly, right? I started producing, well, the first few, the first few prints were a bit ropey, but then what's ropey, you know? They were ropey in my mind's eye. In a lot of people's, they would have said they were brilliant. It was just in my perfectionist head, they weren't what I expected. And so I started working with what I, was, what I was getting. And I tell you what, my life changed. My art changed. And, and here's the key, my art improved. And that's the point I'm trying to make, I think. When I let go and stop trying to... Stop trying to force the outcome, you know? Like, and just accepted what I was getting... Do you know, it, it worked so well. And, and I've often said this, the gel press, if you're not familiar with it, it's just, a, it's like a, oh, I tell you what, I did a demo. Believe it or not, this is a fact. This morning, I got up at about five o'clock, so I had to do some, um, some uh, demonstrations for the TV shows tomorrow. Dee Fitzsimmons, my friend, she's got some beautiful new stamps. And my job is to show how the backgrounds work. And straight away, I reached for my jelly plate. Well, look at the state of this thing. Like, it's yellow, right? That's, that is a gel press. Just in case you don't know, this is what a jelly plate is, right? And there's YouTubes, like loads. I've done loads and loads and loads. You go to Clarity Stamp YouTube and look up gel press. There's like a whole playlist of what you can do with this thing, right? But my point is that that piece of whatever it is changed my life. It was a game changer for me. And and it's it's... And there were a lot of people that would, that would concur with me on this, that something so simple could, could alter your mindset when it comes to art. And I let go of my preconceptions and, and my art took off, really. And, and I can tell you, before the jelly plate or the gel press, never in a month of Sundays, never, ever, ever would I have been able to just do what we're doing now. Go with the flow and just 
doodle on live Facebook? Me? You're kidding. What, with, with no, no prep, with no... With no, here's one I did earlier, if it goes wrong, if the line's not exactly as it's supposed to. Yeah, no. And so, so the gel press really did change my, my outlook on, on art. And, um, and I'm glad for that. I'm really glad for that. Have we come all the way around yet? I bet you've whistled round, haven't you? I bet you've miles ahead of me. Simple. Right, and then here it gets a little bit confusing. So you've just got to kind of persevere and pretend. Right there, that'll do. Forget that. Right. Yeah, the trouble is with perfectionism, it's crippling. Oh, look, that's a bit of luck. <laughs> I just realised I was waffling away. Look, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Same size on both sides. Um, yeah, it can cripple you, really, because fear of getting it wrong stops you doing anything, in a nutshell. There you go. Let's have a look. All the way round. Doesn't that look pretty? Are you enjoying this? Are you enjoying it? Oh, look, someone's written, this is the best. Jackie, this is the best part of the day. Well, do you know what, Jackie? I think so too. For me, especially, yeah, because I know, you know, like in my head, I think, oh, they're going to really enjoy this. They're going to love this. Once they get over the circles, they'll be, they'll be fine. Now, what we're going to do now, let me come to this camera so you can see. Well, let it focus. I'm going to get right close. Just let it focus a minute. It's all right. You're not seasick. See the lines? Have a look. You've got to concentrate a little bit on this. I know it sounds daft, but you actually do a... Oh, yeah, have a little sneak peek at the boat while we're at it. Right, you ready? But today... Oh, sorry about that. Today, we're only doing the frame. We're not going to do the inside. We're going to do that tomorrow. Okay? So today, this is the doodle. This is the doodle. See, it doesn't matter what you doodle, girls and boys. What matters is that you doodle. And this kind of line, 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 line. What it does is you, it forces you to concentrate because you've got to keep your eye on the pen. And all the time you're keeping your eye on the nib of that pen, you're not in here worrying about stuff you can't control. Okay. Right, let's have a look. And now we're going to fill. So around we go again. But where we want to go is the top and the bottom. We're not doing the side bits. We're doing the top and the bottom. And I am going to use the 005, the thin one, right? And we're going to go from one side to the other. And it's just like this. So it's that side and that side. And you'll be surprised how much you have to focus when you do this. That's it. And then the bottom. When you've done that, you go to the next one. And what's fascinating with this, I'm going to put my Dame Edna's on. What I mean by that is these glasses, because they're really strong, but they look ridiculous, so I wouldn't go out in public with them. So I think the stronger the lenses you use, the stronger the lenses you need. So I see these are like, whoa, this is like really strong. But I need these to see the lines properly. Yeah, now I see. Now I can see that I'm missing. I'm not even getting close. <laughs> I'm miles out. Do you know what? I think that's why I think I look a lot younger than I am. <laughs> that's because my eyesight's gone. I look in the mirror and I think, well, you know, I look 61. But the fact is, I can't see myself. <laughs> I actually just sort of see the shape of a face. Right. Okay. Maybe that's why Dave still thinks I look so young. <laughs> I think I just had an epiphany. 
Yeah, it definitely helps when you've got the right glasses on. Now, you've got to concentrate because this is where you will mess it up. If you suddenly, without focusing, you think, oh, this is easy. I can, I can, do, I can doodle this without thinking. And as soon as you do that, you're going to fill those bits in. You watch. If you're feeling anxious, for whatever reason, and my God, there are enough reasons out there to feel anxious at the moment, but if you are feeling anxious, then you can always do what I'm doing here with ink. Do it with pen pencil, right? Just do it with pencil first. And then at least that way, you know, when you go to go over it again with ink, you know it's right, don't you? The thing about pen is it's permanent, isn't it? But you know what? Even if you do go in the wrong area, not terminal, is it? It's just gone in the wrong area. It is what it is, guys. Ah, oh, let's have a look. How are you doing? Yeah? When I got to get round there, look. And then, before we, before we go off and doodle and go in the garden or do what we do, right, or craft, I will show you how to do the boat so that you can practice the boat. Because it's fun. It's fun to do the boat. There you go. Just turn your artwork. So it's a busy TV um, couple of days for us now. We've got um, we've got the ODS going on at the moment on her chanda, which is a one day special. Lovely, lovely, um, well stamps and stencils and dyes and all sorts. That's worth checking out. I think the next TV show on hochanda.com dot com is at um, twelve o'clock, twelve o'clock, and then four o'clock. Lovely paper cuts, actually. Like those circles that I was showing you earlier, how to draw around. These cut, they're cutters, you see. If you're not familiar, that's what they do. I was, I was really late to the old die cutting party as well. But I do like how paper cut dies, I must say. They give me a beautiful, predictable, perfect piece of artwork every time. Um, so it's the polar opposite of um, the gel press. Sometimes you want clean and simple, especially if you're making for for a wedding or for charity or, you know, you want it to be right every time. How are you doing? Are we enjoying this? Got to give time time. I didn't listen to the news yesterday. I decided against it. Because I figure that if it's bad enough, someone will let me know. And they did. And so it seems this social that this social distancing is going to be kept in place. Where am I actually here on the screen? There. It's going to be in place now until Christmas or something, um, I heard. So. So it looks like we're going to be doing lots of doodling then, girls and boys. Hey, we're, we'll have an ology. We'll have a doodleology by Christmas at this rate. I'm not going anywhere. It's keeping me sane. It's keeping me sane. And next week we'll start with the colouring. We will. No rush though, obviously. So rush is there. This has been quite um quite cathartic in a way for this workaholic. Stop me in my tracks really. That's okay. A little bit of a shift of priority. Is that is that I can't be alone. I'm sure that many of you feel the same. 
Doesn't this look lovely? So round we go. We go faster, but then what for? I'll only mess it up. Right, see, and then you get round the leaf. Remember I said, well, you decide. You'll soon decide whether the next time you do this you want to put things in front. There you go. So round you go. All the time you keep your eye on the pen and you concentrate on every stroke, it's like breathing exercises. We're not, it's not about rattling round and getting to the end. It's about the process. It's not, it's the journey, not the destination. And so these little tiny strokes that we're doing, even though the finishing result is very pretty and desirable, the purpose of this is the doing of it, if that makes sense. All right, now what have we got here? Oh yeah, okay. That's the purpose of it. It's the doing of it. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? Tick. So how are we doing for time? Gosh, we've been doing this for nearly an hour now. Can you believe it? I don't think there's anything more relaxing than this. What are you going to do this afternoon? Have you made a plan? I think it's important that we do know that we have a plan. Like I feel full of beans because I woke up, I, well, I planned to get up really early so that I could do the two, the two videos for the telly for Friday's TV shows, for these TV shows. And so I'd already done that by, I'll tell you why. <laughs> I, um, oh, what have we got going on here? That looks a little bit too. Oh, that's that bit there. Okay, so this is this bit here. Um, yeah, so I um, I did a couple for this ODS for the for the TV, and I looked. But the trouble was, I did them right at the end of the day, right? So I recorded them about six o'clock in the evening, and I looked like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. And I thought, no, no, all right, I'll do it early in the morning. I'll do it early in the morning when I'm full of beans <laughs> before our doodle session. And then, and then what's lovely is, see now, after the doodle session, when we all go, go over to Clarity Worldwide and have a look and see what everybody's doing and hang out with the gang over there, you see, I'm off the hook too. I haven't got to start worrying about doing more recording. And uh, so that's a good thing. I shall go and sit in the garden and make, and make a plan. Right, so there you go. Have you got what I've got so far? There we are, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Well, I love it. And what we're gonna do now, and you can do this, am I allowed to give you some homework? If I give you some homework, then I can show you how to do the boats. The boats are a piece of cake, but they're so fun to do. So what you're gonna do, right, is you wanna put some shadow in. And what all you wanna do is along this edge here and along this edge here. So you're going to come along this. Let's come to a clean bit so you can see what I'm talking about. This is going to be your homework, right? You're going to go along here with your pencil, right in there, like that. This is going to make it look tubular. You, where are we? Here. Right, let me come up a bit closer. Right, so you're going to go along there, like that, right? And then add a little bit of shadow there, like so along that edge and then you're going to go along the inside edge as well like there so you're going to do that side and that side so where you've just put all your little lines now you're going to darken them up right so you go along like that 
go all the way around and then all the way around on the inside as well. There you go. And it looks and then it makes it look tubular because it's white in the middle. Yeah. So that's going to be, let's have a look. So that's going to be your first. You'll see immediately, look, you see where I've started. It starts to give it that, that tubular effect. And then on the leaves, what we're going to do on the leaves is just add a little bit of shadow. Not too much. And if you overcook it, you know you can always take it away. So we're going to add a little bit of shadow to the leaves, right? Um, and then if we pretend that the, the air, say the light's coming from this area, then the leaf would have shadow on that side there, on the bottom, but then on the, along the spine as well. So it'll be there and there. Let me show you. If I do that really lightly, and then see if we take that one little leaf, and then if I just turn this round and show you, you'll see how, let me see if I can show you there. Right, it's a little bit fuzzy, let it focus. Right, so if you look, it's along the uh, bottom edge and then it's also just above the, where the, the, um, the vein is. You see, so the light's coming in from the top in my head and it's hitting the top of the leaf, but then the leaf is obviously curly so it goes dark by the vein, then it comes out again, and then it gets dark again. So does that make sense? You go in, oh, sorry about that. You're going to go there and there. I'm doing it a little bit extreme now, but you can see what I'm talking about. And then, now I've overcooked it, I'll just take it back a little bit. I just wanted to show you where you're colouring in or where you're shading. So you're going to go all the way around the hoop. You're going to get in on underneath where the where the um, thingy is, the, the vine, you're going to get in under that so that this jumps, see? As soon as you do that, that will change that as well. So there's plenty of shading to do there, right? So that, that there as well. And you'll see as soon as you do this, you watch it start to jump. You can see it even from that angle. Look, see how it starts to look three-dimensional? As soon as you add a little bit of shade there and a little bit of shade there, a few little bits of shade on the leaves. Right, so you're going to do the vines. You're going to go all the way around. Right, and then before we call it a day and we all go off and do our thing, try and stay in, in the sun for it if you can, if, you, if you're allowed to. Um, get a bit of vitamin D, get a, bit, get a few rays, a little bit of warmth on the skin. That's really good feels so nice you know just for a couple of minutes just a little bit of warmth really is lovely on the skin I hope it's warm where you are it's very sunny where we are the sun is glorious beautiful blue skies aren't we lucky aren't we lucky eh? right shall I show you how to do these boats the little boats piece of cake right I'll show you we'll do it a couple of times and then we'll see let me get a bit of scrap before I go and deface my masterpiece right I'll show you how it works. Right, so what we're going to do, see this little fella here? Right, so what you're going to do is you, it's like um, you go like that and then as if you're going to come back on yourself. But instead of coming back like that, you go down like so. So if I was to draw a figure eight like that, let's say a tall figure eight, but then this bit here I rub out. Do you see? So then I've done the I've done the figure eight, but instead of coming round, I rub that bit out and then I go down. There's the water there, right? There's the front of the boat, and there's the boom, right? And then your your uh, mast. Get rid of that one. The mast. Just start it there, right? And then you're just going to come up. If you want a nice tall mast, you can do a little sail, like so, maybe another sail, like that, whatever you fancy. Do big sails, right? Do it one more time, I'll show you again, right? So you're gonna, you're gonna, I'll do it from the top so you can see it. So it's like a figure eight, right? Except you don't come back. So you're gonna go like that, that's the back, then you come up round the front, it's a big one now, big figure eight. See, and then get rid of this bit here. This is going to be one of those boats that you don't want to sit somebody sitting at the back. <laughs> then you get rid of this bit, this loop here, to there. 
right? Get rid of that bit. And then th if that's the water, like, well, hey, right? Then, then you come down and you come down. To, cool, this is like a, a liner. Check that out. And then you see you can put your, let's see. Isn't that cool? There's your boat. And then if you want to, you can put your little, how's that? Good enough? I really, I'm telling you now, right? You're gonna spend the next hour fiddling around with those little boats. You just go like that, like that, rub that bit out, come down to the water, finished. And it is so, and then if you, if you get a chance, do a little bit of shading as well to really make it look like it's in the water. And if you really want to have a go, try and do a reflection. Try and do a reflection, a really faded light, like shady, fady, shady reflection of the boat in the water. You'll enjoy it, honestly. Hours of fun, hours of fun. You remember the little bird, the little hearts that we did in the very first hour? The boat, for me, is up there with the little hearts on the wire, the little birds on the wire, you know? What a lovely little picture. You know, you've got the photo corners, you've got the boat on the water, cut the birds on the wire, finished. Okay, so that'll do. I hope you enjoyed that. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Be safe, be happy, stretch, smile. Ah, oh, cool, my neck, do you know what? Click, 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 click. It's all right though, you know. We're in this together, aren't we? Oh, my back. We're in this together and we might as well have some fun along the way. So stay safe, be good, and I'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. Lots of love. Bye-bye now. And now we turn it off.